Program is brought to you in part by BNN, Business News Network. Semi-retirement has become an increasingly popular option to bridge the gap between working and fully retired. On today's Money Makeover, Pat and Wayne Thiessen from Newmarket, Ontario, are looking to make the leap from semi-retirement to retirement. So would you like another coffee? or? Uh, I'm Wayne Thiessen. Are you good? My wife, Pat. Okay. Uh, we've come to a very interesting uh, part in our career and our lives. We've uh, re retired which is kind of interesting. We started up our, uh, our own consulting business, but now we're faced with uh, kind of the decision, uh, what do we do for the next 30, 40, 50 years as, as we move into retirement? Oh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember now. Oh. We're planning on one big trip a year. Um, what would be a dream would be maybe on three or four big big trips uh, a year and I like to go to different like to hometown places to the restaurants so we, we talk to the locals and we go to their restaurants they are the best our lifestyles changing from uh, just spend to okay can Think we spend before uh, you spend and that, that's a big uh, yeah, big big difference in our in our lifestyle rightly or wrongly my portfolio is predominantly equity um, I'm probably 60 or 70 percent equity, 30 percent uh, bonds. I probably spend an inordinate amount of time on the portfolio because I'm a do-it-yourselfer. So, probably should spend more, and, and I'm not an expert at it. But so that's where I, I, I spend time. Uh, so I do a lot of research on the internet. I'm, I'm constantly watching the price. I'm supporting the family, and, and I think that that creates some pressure and the odd sleepless night. Um, that, that's why I tend to take more of the burden on than, than sharing it with Pat, because she doesn't like seeing the numbers. <laughs> I don't like seeing, especially Sometimes. when they go down. Uh, I get very upset. Yeah. I just say, Wayne, we want to sell, we got to sell. <laughs> if it runs out now, then I'm young enough that I can get a, another job. But if it runs out when I'm 78, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's expensive. So. Yeah, that's what I was looking at because it's very expensive. Uh, we have been blessed with uh, uh, making a very good living uh, for a long, long time, and we're not one to spend it on fancy houses and cars, but we're, we're big on just having a really nice life and uh, sharing with our kids, and, and you want to be able to continue that environment. Who knows whether you can or can't. Maybe it's not as complex as we think it is, but to me it's, it's very complex. Um, uh, you know, do we have enough money to live the life we live? Uh, do I have to uh, start flipping hamburgers a year <laughs> from now because we don't have enough enough money? I don't know. And joining us in studio, Pat and Wayne Thiessen and their financial planner, Cynthia Kett from Stewart and Kett Financial Advisors. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, how long have you been in a state of semi-retirement? Uh, just over a year. Okay. The big question I would have would be how do you balance your, the income you do have with your expenditures when you're sort of halfway? Well, you, you keep track of all your expenditures in, in detail, which uh, I've always done, so you know where the money's going out and uh, you try to look for ways to, uh, to uh, uh, earn more income. Mm -hmm. M my own business that uh, we started last year, so that's how you do it. I guess all the options are, are open for uh, uh, for making a little extra money to make an extra purchase, maybe something discretionary that you'd like? Mm hmm Yes. You know? Yeah. You. Um, now, you've been in semi-retirement for about a year. When do you think you can make the, the big leap? Uh, I don't want to retire till I'm at least 65. I'd like to run uh, our own business, consulting business, till I'm 65. I'm only 55 now. Mm -hmm. So spend 10 years uh, in that semi-retirement mode. Okay. I'll ask you, Cynthia, you know all about their finances there. Uh, basically, an overview here, what kind of shape are they in? Well, uh, Pat and Wayne have demonstrated that financial planning works. They've been very diligent. They've, they've managed their finances and monitored things all the way along. And they've been anticipating this event for some time. 
and I'm very pleased to say that they are in excellent shape. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that helps. They, in addition to their uh, pension plans, they uh, Wayne also has some stock grants and stock options, but they have accumulated RSP and non-RSP investment portfolios, and they have no debt. So that no means debt. that they're sitting in great shape. But as they have realized all along that financial planning is a process. It's not something you do and say, okay, we're there now, let's, that's the end of it. It is an ongoing process and that's why they're here. So even though they think they have enough money, they really weren't too, too sure until they came to talk to us. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, if it's an ongoing process, how does it morph? How does it change over time? Well, this is a significant life event for anybody. I mean, you're, you're used to having uh, uh, recurring sources of income. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you take it out, well, there's more going to replace mm -hmm. it. But, but now, at this point in time, um, even though Wayne says he's prepared to continue his consulting business until age 65, he wants to be in a position where he doesn't have to rely on that stream of income. Right. He wants to be able to accept work because he wants to do it, right. not because he has to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how long have you two been focused on, on preparing the nest egg? When did you get the idea? Okay, we gotta we gotta work on this. I was probably uh, 12 years old, and uh, you know I've always kept track of our income. And then when we got married at 22, financial planning was was my hidden hobby, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I took the CFP uh, certified financial planning mm -hmm. course. So I've always been interested in it, and we've always planned. We never knew what the date was going to be, whether it was 50, 55, 60, or whatever. But uh, all, all my adult life, basically, uh, we've been working at, at that together. Right. Are both of you good at handling money, or is one good and one not so good? We're, I think, the yin and yang. Uh, I, she, she, uh, she keeps me in tow, I think, uh, sometimes. Do yes, you? I Do keep him on track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, does, he, does, he, does he kind of sway a little bit once in a while, and you're the, you're the conscience? You're well, the, the angel on the shoulder? I think so, at times, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. We're a good team together. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Is there any way, Cynthia, that you would change the, the mix in their portfolio at all? Well, there's a number of changes that we would do. Uh, first of all, I said we should start with doing detailed retirement projections mm -hmm. because that gives us the framework for future financial decisions. And uh, that allows us to know exactly where the, where the source of funds are going to be, gives us an idea of future tax liabilities, including pension income splitting. Mm -hmm. And it gives us, most importantly, a benchmark each year as to where those investment portfolios should be at the beginning of each year. So we have something to, to gauge progress um, mm -hmm. to. But um, following, falling out of that, then we look at, okay, what retirement assets do we have? And the, the biggest one is Wayne's pension plan. Mm -hmm. And so one of the questions he had was, do I take the pension plan benefits or should I take the lump sum equivalent and invest it myself and, and right. use that? Well, as, uh, as the Teesons have found out by talking to various people, there's no pat answer and everybody's situation is different. But in their situation, I would recommend that they do take the pension plan assets. And the reason why is because it gives them a very solid base for their retirement uh, lifestyle mm -hmm. and Pat has longevity, runs in her family, and so even if, if she survives Wayne, if they opt for the 100% joint and survivor option, she's going to be financially secure. Right. Good plan. Right. Yeah. The other thing is that even though uh, Wayne's pension plan isn't specifically indexed for inflation, it does have the potential for future increases based on the investment performance of the pension plan. Right. Okay. So it's, yeah. it's a great, great right. Right. way good. to go. Right. Well, thank you for the reading on this, Cynthia. Appreciate it. And uh, Pat and Wayne, the best of luck and uh, continued long life. Great. Thank you well, very thank much. You. Thank uh, you. Okay. Money makeovers are going to be taking place throughout the month of February here on BNN. If you're interested, you too can email us at makeover at bnn.ca. More on the markets and other business news coming up on Business News Network. Stay tuned.